a look at the conditions outside. You know, runners this winter has ha have had a real treat with the dry skies, lack of rain, lack of snowfall and bare ground. And look at this morning here in New Bedford. We had some pretty colors at dawn. It's even warmer today than it was yesterday and we're setting the stage for likely some record high temperatures on Thursday, so maybe into the lower and even middle 60s tomorrow. By the end of the day, we're going to be tracking some showers after 3 o'clock. They'll continue into Friday and then President's Day weekend. We're going to talk about this for a few days. Brief shot of chilly air and then it's right back into the warmth. Our temperatures right now, middle 30s, Providence and Smithfield already up above 40 degrees in Westerly and in Newport. That surge a mile there will be coming in on an increasing southerly wind for today. So right now, wind's not bad, but we're going to get some gusts over 30 miles per hour potentially. Right now on the radar, we're tracking in the clouds. A couple of sprinkles falling out of the cloud deck. Most of these are drying up before reaching the ground, but can't rule out a stray sprinkle this morning. Otherwise, clouds eventually breaking up again for some partial sunshine. Noontime temperatures climbing into the 50s. We're looking at highs today around 55 degrees. That is 15 degrees warmer than normal. Temperatures more typical of early April. And it stays very mild tonight. This evening we're going to fall into the upper 40s and not much below that, hovering right around the upper 40s to near 50 throughout the night tonight with partly cloudy skies and still a breezy southwest wind. Here's the setup. We've got one area of low pressure over the northern plains that's going to track over Canada today. That's what's giving us the extra clouds this morning. And then this area of low pressure are going to move from the Great Lakes over northern New England. And that's what's going to bring about the surge of even warmer air for tomorrow followed by some rain showers. So let's take a look. Eight o'clock this morning showing some of those passing sprinkles and then the clouds break for some more sunshine. And we're going to see that off and on mixing with the clouds this afternoon. Quiet conditions overnight tonight. Clouds starting to roll in again tomorrow morning. And you can see that rain to the west of us. It's likely to arrive by the time the evening commute rolls around. This is four o'clock scattered rain showers. All that we're forecasting for Thursday night and into Friday. In fact, temperatures during the night Thursday stay unseasonably warm. So in the 50s today and then tomorrow afternoon. Look at these temperatures lower to middle 60s. Boston close to 60 degrees mid to upper 50s into the first half of the day on Friday. But there's that cold air that's lurking. It'll be moving in Friday afternoon and evening, bringing some rapidly cooler temperatures. Record to beat tomorrow 60. That was set in 1910. Not likely to do it. 63 degrees with those late day showers. Showers winding down later in the afternoon on Friday, giving way to some sunshine for the start of your weekend. But it's going to feel a little more February like near 40 degrees by Sunday afternoon, upper 40s. And by Monday, we are in the 50s.